Division three now, and the Coldwater Cavaliers pitching staff has been on quite a postseason run. After allowing a single run to Paulding in the sectional title game, the Orange and Black have posted back-to-back -back shutouts, blanking Parkway and St. Henry their next two games as the MAC co-champs took home their 25th district crown. Up next, a Fredericktown Freddies team that is scoring over eight runs a game in the postseason. Cavs off to a good start against the Freddies, already up 3-0 at the top of the fifth at Elida's Ed Sandy Field. Brody Hoing at the plate, hits a line drive in the gap in right center, and Hoing is going to motor, hits second, and keep on going, dives into first for the triple. Next up for the Cavs, Drew Otten, and Otten sends it to the corner in right, Hoing easily scoring from third on the RBI double as Coldwater goes up four to nothing. One out, runner in a scoring position. For Malavai Bettinger, and Bettinger grounds to first. Kirk Mance takes it himself, but Otten does move up to third base. Cavs trying to get in another insurance run, but Mitch Hine grounds to short, and that will retire the side. Move to the bottom of the fifth now. Derek Toby on the mound has only allowed one hit to this point. Gets Matt Giffen looking for the strikeout. Cole Perkins lays down a bunt. Toby fields, flip is late. So Perkins with her second hit of the game. Next batter, Austin Hathaway. Clean single to center field. So the Freddies put runners on first and second. Only one out. Later on, runners in second and third. Kirk Mann singles into right. So that's going to play Perkins for the Freddies. Cuts the cold water to leave the 4-1. to one. Trace Hatfield then hits to first. High in the grab. Gets the second out. Also saves a run. And Toby gets out of the jam with Tyler Rule looking to end the threat. Go to the top of the sixth now. Coldwater trying to answer and get some more insurance runs. Matt Kramer with two on, grounder to short. Freddy's trying to turn two. Kramer beats the relay. Adam Klosterman just keeps it on running, and he scores. 5-1 Coldwater, and the Cavaliers go on to win 7-3 the final score, thanks to six strong innings from Toby as they advance tomorrow's regional final. My teammates made some great plays, clutch at bats, and they put us into the regional finals. It's awesome. Think about our aggressiveness and our guys playing hard was huge. And Dark Toby pounding the zone. And the last thing, they got a couple of runs by guys coming in and being a part of being a team effort all the way through. Once we get ahead, our coaches always say pound the zone, so that's what I tried to do. Just throw strikes, have some clutch at bats, and then we'll be fine. The bottom line is this group of seniors want to establish their goal uh, last summer. I think we keep working hard and playing aggressive. We win tomorrow, and then we'll see how it goes in Columbus. That's right, Coach Harlemer. One win away from going back to Columbus. Their next opponent will be Huron as they beat Lake tonight 3-2. So it'll be Coldwater and Huron tomorrow night, 5 o'clock, back at Coldwater's or back at Elida's Ed Sandy Field for Coldwater. And you'll be able to see that Coldwater Huron Regional Championship game tomorrow night at 10 on WOSN. Thanks to our friends at WCSN.